Hey creatives, how are you guys today? Uh, John Bishop again here with Redbug Creatives Network. Um, just here doing our daily vlog. I would like to, uh, to talk to you a little bit about something that, have you had this happen where all these things start to kind of reoccur and you feel like there's a message in there somewhere for you? Uh, last, last month we had our meeting, uh, Cecilia Villanueva was at the meeting and she was talking about that, that phenomenon when everybody seems to have the same idea at vaguely the same time that you'll see repetitions of ideas coming up. And I've certainly seen that. Uh, and uh, the whole idea of the conversation was that, you know, as creative people get together, they work off of each other, great kind of relationships are built, but they also all seem to, to recognize the same kind of low hanging fruit that seems to be all around them as, as far as the world of ideas. So that's a very interesting concept. Yesterday, when we had the opportunity to interview Raleigh, who does the, the oil graph paintings in Los Angeles, who was here uh, working on his, uh, or trying to promote the sale of his big work called Broken Last Supper. He was talking about and suggesting that people watch the TED Talk by a woman named Elizabeth Gilbert. And it's an old TED Talk, it's about 10 years old. And the whole idea of what she was saying is she's the one who wrote uh, Eat, Pray, Love. And it was a wild success. And the whole idea is, you know, what if the greatest thing she ever wrote is now behind her and she never writes such a good thing again? And that's a very frightening prospect for her. Her whole idea in this TED Talk was that you have to learn if you're going to be a successful creative professional, you have to learn just to show up and do the work. In ancient society, the whole idea of the muse and the genius, that you were somehow given inspiration from outside yourself, which was great because if you were very successful, you couldn't take complete credit for it. And of course, if you were kind of a flop, yeah, it wasn't all your fault either. Uh, but that during the Renaissance, man became the center of everything. And the genius, uh, which used to live outside the person as an inspiration, was put inside a person. And that that created some sort of psychic, psychological crack up that put too much pressure on people. And that creatives tend to have this reputation of being either all alcoholics and, and, and uh, uh, suicidal, or they, uh, they are just kind of crazy. Uh, and that they are destined to be poor. And so I had this conversation with Kevin Raleigh, remembering the conversation we all had with Cecilia Villanueva. And I thought of, I watched the YouTube uh, presentation by Elizabeth Gilbert. And I remembered that we had just filmed with John Ross Palmer, whose whole escapist program um, uh, movement is based around the idea that there's no, there's no reason why artists should be starving, that, that they wanted to kill that whole concept out there in, in the world. So all these ideas seem to be converging. Uh, uh, so I just thought I'd throw that out there and wondered if anybody else was running into those same energies right now, because it seems to be really uh, reoccurring in my life. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to throw that out. Uh, we have our meeting coming up on the third Tuesday of each month. If you are in Houston, we'd love to see you there. Uh, you can always join us through uh, our website, uh, redbugcreatives.com. And uh, you can support us by liking our channel, our YouTube channel. You uh, can follow us on Facebook, subscribe. Uh, you can support us by coffee.com or patreon.com and uh, join our community in another way if you're not here in Houston. 
So uh, thanks so much for your attention. Love to hear any of your comments, uh, and I'll see you real soon. Oh, by the way, I was wrong yesterday. It was not day eight. Today is day eight in the 100-day project, and here's a little bit of my art. Aww. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks so much.